Oh, that's enough scrolling around. Doing a bit of uh, meth and stats last night. A bit of figures on um, road death and injury. A lot of calculation of um, my lifetime. And globally, it works out about 200,000 people that died on global roads. And it would put about 600,000 seriously in or injured and or seriously injured. So the last few years I've been searching out why the hell a simple road, simple driving, why are people dying? So all this uh, sequence I'll do, a lot of things I've figured out, some of my mistakes. Uh, how are you going to avoid the future being so bad? Like, you know, another 40 years we double those figures. Quick one is uh, narrow roads and everything. Country roads, they get narrower. Well, I'm having got the white line on the edge of the road, just soft edges, rough edges. I notice a lot of people just don't uh, slow down, and something's coming the other way. And truck drivers were you know, sitting on 100. I'll slow down to um, around 80, whatever's safe. Just in case something happens, you know, you keep control of it. So, what I'm saying is the speed limit, you really don't have to do that speed limit, you don't have to sit on that speed limit all day, no matter what the road is. Keep an eye on your safe speed signs here. This country, they're orange. Could be up to 30 kilometers uh, slower than the speed limit as a precaution. Slow down to that safe speed zone. Creed, oh, unless you go, I could do um, over two million kilometres, so there's no hurry to do it. If you're late, you're late. You have to force everything off the road to bloody get a load somewhere. But on uh, nine years of towing, so there was a lot of accidents, of course, deaths and injuries. The media and police have been drawing everybody's heads, you know, about. Speed and drink driving fatigue. So I got in a bit of fine tuning about the things maybe everybody's missing, we're missing
Anyway, next video I'll show you a few things I picked up. Could be causing them. Or something can be done about it. 